We have pasta for dinner, one of my favorite meals. If you can hear banging, it's my neighbors. Nothing I can do about it. I can't tell if it's my upstairs neighbors or my next door neighbors, but either way. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like making this pasta because I can meal prep it for lunches, for work. Okay, well, whatever, it's gonna be a big bite. So today I thought I would do a little story time on uh, the best first date I've ever had. I don't even know if it's technically considered a date because we went on a weekend trip. <laughs> you didn't ask me on a date, but that was our first time hanging out solo, so you can tell me. So to give you some backstory, I had met this person through a friend um, we had spent the whole day together with a big group of friends. We were kind of partying together. And I really liked his energy. And at the time, I'm still like kind of new to the city. I hadn't made many friends outside of work. And so in my mind, I was like, perfect. I have tons of girlfriends. I'd love to have some guy friends. I want to be friends with this guy. And that's all I was thinking. So after spending the day together, we add each other on Instagram and we kind of chat here and there, like nothing really that serious. So there was one day where he had messaged me and we got on the topic of weekend plans <clears throat> and he said he was going, um, for those of you that know, he was going to the Okanagan for the weekend and he says that he was joking around but asked me if I wanted to come and I said, yeah. And he asked me when I could be ready. I said, give me an hour. So that was a Thursday. He picked me up and we went down for the weekend and came back on a Monday. It was a long weekend, I think. Maybe not. I don't really remember. Um, so it was the most magical weekend of my life. It felt like it was out of a rom-com, honestly. Um, so I was working remotely at that time. So when we got there Friday, I had to work for the day. He went and did his things. We were staying with some of his friends in like kind of a camping situation. We were staying in like an unfinished tiny home on an air mattress. <laughs> So I worked that day, he did his thing, and then I finished up work and we decided we were gonna um, bike around to some wineries because his friend that we were staying with owned like a little bike rental. So we went to the first winery and they told us that, like all of the wineries close at 5 p.m. and it was like quarter to five. So we just bought a couple bottles and ended up biking around and drinking wine. I'll see if I can find the video of me. I'll loop it in here if I can find it <laughs> of us doing that. But it was just a really fun night. And then the next day, so every morning we would wake up early. The property was on a river and we would wake up really early and go for a cold dip in the morning. Just did cute little things, you know? And that day on Saturday, we ended up going paddle boarding with all of his friends. I'd never been paddle boarding before, that was my first time, and I fell in love with it. It was so fun, and the views were crazy. Cat hair, what's new? So we did that all day, I'm just kind of hung out. And then that night, the property was right next to a baseball field.
and there are meteor showers happening that weekend, what are the odds? <clears throat> so <laughs> we decide we're gonna go get a blanket, lay in the baseball field and watch the meteor shower. It was amazing. I've never seen so many shooting stars in my life at one time. And when I say this felt like it was, it felt like a rom-com, it really did. So we're watching the shooting stars and next thing you know, the sprinklers go off. <laughs> uh, honestly, nothing can ever top this weekend. So we obviously hide <laughs> under the blanket for a bit until they go off. And that was that night. So at this time of my life, I was drinking tomato juice every morning because it just made me feel better in the morning. I was struggling a little with my health and I was feeling kind of like when I would wake up, I'd feel sick in the morning. And so I would drink that and it made me feel better. And I had told him that on our drive down and on Sunday morning when I got up, this man had made me a homemade tomato juice. He went to the market, got what he needed and made that for me. So sweet. Um, I don't really remember what we did that day. Probably hung out, swam. I don't remember. And then the group of us all went to um, this restaurant. It's like a farm to table restaurant and they do like a chef's menu. And there's I think like six or seven different courses. It was delicious. So we did that, we biked there and back because it was close by. <clears throat> um, what else? I feel like I'm missing parts. It was a few years ago, so it's hard to remember everything that happened. And then the next day on the Monday, we decided to drive back. We were driving back. A few of his friends had like met him, us there that weekend. So we were all driving back to the city. And I think because it was a long weekend, we were trying to avoid traffic. So we ended up stopping, finding a spot to like swim and hang out and wait for the traffic to die down. And then, what happened that night? Something happened that night. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it was kind of a heat wave in BC at that time and we were getting heat lightning which if you know anything about Vancouver, we never get lightning or th lightning and thunderstorms, just like nothing like that. I'm from the East Coast and we get that a lot. And so when we got back to the city, we went up to his place and we went on the roof and just watched the lightning, which was so cool. And then I went home <laughs> and couldn't believe that that was the weekend I had just had. I was in a phase of my life where I'm like, I'm gonna say yes more to things because I have no problem saying no. I honestly, it's probably like a detriment to my life how much I say no to things. So I really just wanted to say yes more and be more spontaneous and adventurous. And I definitely achieved that. I don't know, would you consider that a date or not? He technically didn't ask me on a date. <laughs> but either way, it was the best date of my life, so. And I'm not sure if anything will ever top that. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me and having a meal. I will see you in the next one. Bye.